a lot of people have questions about how do we create these plans in general. You know, it's important that once we start in on the process, if we're starting from a ground floor, that we document what we currently do as a baseline, and then we start building plans around that. So part of the process is going to be identifying crit critical business components that are uh, gonna be needed to be brought up online first, and then also uh, other resources such as applications, systems, and then uh, IT infrastructure that we're gonna wanna bring up first. Because a lot of people will think that their part of the business or their system needs to come up on, uh, needs to come first, but it's all about the impact to the business and making sure that those impacts are lessened and having these plans in place is part of doing that. Another key uh, component, especially when we talk talking about business continuity is doing a business impact analysis. And what that is, is that's taking a specific component of the business and doing basically drills on saying, if this part of the business were to go down, how long would it take us to get back up? And what would the uh, ramifications be if that part of the business wasn't able to come up in say a day, six hours, or any other length of time that uh, the business deems as uh, not appropriate for uh, the longevity of their business. Also, parts of creating these plans, and I already spoke to this a little bit, is uh, making sure that we take into account uh, past disasters and incidences that we've had because that'll give us a good idea about the responses that we took and then also you know, incorporating lessons learned from those events so that we can uh, further and make these plans about as rock solid as we can because nobody likes to think that a disaster is going to happen, but we still need to plan for it and we still need to have procedures in place to make sure that when an event happens that we uh, respond uh, appropriately.